Oh, well, it's uh, day 10 here at Leyston Abbey and we've got a lot going on. We're getting to the bottom of some trenches and we're also opening up some new ones. One of the most exciting things happening today, though, is that we're sending off a splinter cell group off to Minsmere, the original site of Leyston Abbey. We're going to get some footage over the coming days and see what they find. But back here on site, one of the big things that's happening is that we've still got Adam Stanford here with us doing some more aerial photography. You'll hear the drone buzzing around overhead all day. We've also got Adam Stanford's aerial photography masterclass and 3D imaging and they'll be learning how to turn those photos into 3D models. There's so much going on that I really shouldn't actually be here. I really, I better get back to work. All right, we're here in Trench 15 and we've spent the whole morning maticking away and we've come upon uh, what we think is a possible floor surface which is really exciting because it looks like what's happening in the trench just across the hedge. So that's just down here, we've got some bricks and mortar. Uh, and just across from that, we've got some charcoal happening as well. It's a nice big piece. So there's definitely something going on in this end of the trench. So we're just cleaning up here with the trowels, and then we start back up the other end of the trench again and pull our way back and see what's happening. Tricky. Yeah. Um, uh, because as you see, there's a lot of mud. The, the marrow's been mm -hmm. sort of drilled out, and you can get mud going all the way through it. Hi, I'm Jules. Um, I'm back at Dig Ventures, uh, Leeson Abbey, for the third time now, done two years before. I'm here for two weeks and it's going very well. We've had some beautiful weather. Um, I love it here because it's such a um, wonderful site. It looks fabulous. The people here are fabulous. Everything about it is fabulous, quite frankly. Uh, while I've been here at Leeson Abbey, um, I've seen my skills develop sort of tenfold, quite frankly. Um, I've been learning about recording finds, recording the trenches, doing sections. Uh, writing out drawing plans and we also use a digital system here so we have iPads and other uh, other pads to uh, input the information directly onto the internet so that the public can see what we're finding and uh, see the results for themselves. So I'm here with Jose, he's been here with us all week, he's been in the trenches digging and matting and showing us how to use a matic properly. <laughs> that's not the only reason you're here with us is it? There's another reason. Yeah, yes, that's completely true uh, Maya because we came here from Galicia because we heard about your digital dig team and we really wanted to use it to know how it's in feel and you know after almost two weeks here with you now we know it's uh, an amazing tool really useful so I think we are ready to use it in Spain yeah so can you tell us we know you've got a a really exciting project coming up in Spain. Can you tell us a little bit yeah, about I mean, what you're planning to do? Uh, yeah, I can tell you a little bit, but uh, people can find more information in the front side of the ventures, okay? Yep. But just uh, uh, summing up, it's a really amazing project involving three different archaeological sites related with Iron Age and also, right, well. yeah, and not just the archaeology, which will be amazing, but also, you know, the landscape, the food, the environment, and of course, local community. Brilliant, I can't, I can't wait to go. Watch this space for more information, or join us on site yep. in Spain. <laughs> Welcome to Trench 14, and oh, we're very confusing here. We have lots of conundrums. Uh, one in particular, we had this kind of like mortary clay patch in the corner and we thought it was something different luckily we recorded it and um, then we dug it out and then it kind of looked the same um, and then it was very mixed and but then we got a bit deeper and we found a cut but now we don't know really what the cut's for but we all have our own theory so Chris what do you think it is well, it's a square hole with a flat bottom, so I think it's a masonry pillar. Right, I was here on day one when we opened this trench and there were tree roots exactly over this area. And I reckon they've dug a hole and planted a tree here. I think it's a medieval alien landing pad. <laughs> <laughs> Putting my money on that. So we're over in trench 18 by the driveway trench. Um, 
we have just been planning the trench over the last couple of days, me and Rita. Um, in terms of excavation in a trench, there's more to excavation than just digging the trench because ultimately you want a record, a permanent record of what you've found. Otherwise you may have gone through the whole excavation process and all that information has gone to waste in how many years time when people are looking, to, looking back at the site. So the way we record our trench is through scale drawings. Um, we draw all of the features that you can see in the trench to a scale. Uh, in this case it's 1 to 20 scale. Uh, we have our wall, we have our cobbled surface and we had a, a brick dump feature as well. So they all got drawn onto a scaled plan. So we go through a lot of hard and detailed effort to create these plans and they're done over the whole site in every single trench. Um, but eventually they will be uploaded onto the digital dig team system so that they're available for everyone, all of you out there, to view at the click of a button. And that will be available for basically forever for all generations throughout the world to see a perfect record preserved. Hey, how's Trench 21 going? Oh, it's really cool actually. So we've got like loads of bone and brick and stuff, but We've just pulled this out of the ground. Oh, yeah. another, another key. key. Another yeah. key. So we've got another door to find. Gosh, or well, maybe a secret treasure chest. Who knows? It's quite hefty, isn't it? It is. Wow, that's very nice. Yeah. Well, um, uh, Helen Geek's coming tomorrow. Oh, is she? So, so we uh, can get her to have a look. She'll know what it unlocks. Well, she might be able to give us a date. Possibly, maybe. So um, hold on to that. That's, that's good. good. Wow, look at all these. They've got and fish bone and. and <gasps> Oh, look at that. that's good. That's really, really good. I think it's been quite a good afternoon in this trench. Do you know what? I think you have the most finds. Yeah. It doesn't even stop there. Look, we've got one more. Oh! <laughs> yeah, that's, that's good. Nice bit of lead there. Yeah. Very good. Um, oh, you've got some teeth. Got some teeth. Oh, God, I don't think I can fit all the finds in oh one hand. Gosh. They're that nice pig's teeth. They're the ones, you know, that come right there. Yeah, so, uh, oh wow! Yeah, it's been a good afternoon. Rita's gonna love you. She was like bemoaning <laughs> the fact that we weren't, you know, very fine heavy at the moment, so this will oh, keep her going. And for Shelby ages. as well. She was uh, halfway through all her washing her finds, and now setting her back to square one. Amazing. Gosh, I'm a bit jealous. So, here in Trench 20 today, we started by planning a layer of um, mortar that was covering the wall. Um, we then removed that and uh, we're just on to planning the actual wall itself. And tomorrow, we're going to put in a meter section just across here, take down some of the surface that I'm standing on, trying to find out how far down the wall goes. So, we're coming to the end of a very exhausting day on site. I'm completely knackered. We're now trying to get our thoughts together and push on forward into the weekend. But the big news is that we, we've sent our splinter cell team out to Minsmere and early reports back, although they're, they're not back to site yet, is that the results are absolutely fantastic. Exactly what we were hoping for. So you'll be hearing more about that tomorrow. And uh, what's great is that the RSPB have put up some signs that basically um, are, are letting the bird watchers know that there's more than just wildlife on site and that they should keep their eyes out for the lesser spotted archaeologists. So keep your eyes out too tomorrow for the lesser spotted archaeologists.